my dear beloved friends i'm on my way to meherabad to meet meher baba for the first time i heard about him from a few friends back in 2015 when i was pursuing my image consultancy with a bunch of uh, people who are now my friends and they used to talk a lot about meher baba and i'd only really heard about him back then and very recently only last month i met a beautiful soul friend of mine such a beautiful 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 soul inside out and he recommended me meeting meher baba and it somehow made a very intense impact on me and i wanted to explore what this gentle soul was all about a realized soul who is taken samadhi at this place and i am going to go visit his samadhi meditate around it which i love to and it's kind of giving me a vibe of uh, shams of sabri's rumi my favorite people on this whole planet oh my god whom i had gone met last year for my birthday in turkey konya to be precise and i i'm getting a vibe or a feeling that this place is going to be very similar i'm so looking forward to it i'm so looking forward to it so this place is in mehrabad in aurangabad about 5 and a half hours away from bombay and it's why i'm pune so just when you arrive at pune at the junction you take a left to go to aurangabad Meherabad is named after Meher Baba which is in Aurangabad and it's got an ashram I'm going to stay for three nights in the ashram and just meditate away which I love to I just love to do it just be in silence and soak in the energies and because this is one of the power centers it's a samadhi somebody who's taken um let's say rest from one's physical existence and gone into its energy level into its deepest stillness and silence and nothingness becomes a power center and energy center and this is one of such places and i'm so looking forward to soaking in and relaying the energies to you all from there <laughs> so excited see you there
Well, this is what Baba had to say to me. Befitting a fortunate slave, carry out every command of the master without any question of why and what. About what you hear from the master, never say it is wrong. Because, my dear, the fault lies in your own incapacity to understand him. I'm a slave of the master who has released me from ignorance. Whatever my master does is of the highest benefit to all concerned. And this spoke to my heart. These beautiful lines by Hafiz brought me to tears. I sat there in silence. Tears welling up in my eyes. A heavy heart yet feeling directed supported guided held just emotional in surrender to this divine space and the divine baba and the divine within me
this beautiful pilgrim house and it's also day one of my cycles so I'm just uh, resting it out had a beautiful lazy morning meditated for an hour on this particular bed all plumped in And followed it up with some beautiful healing yoga practices, asan part of it. Hmm. Feeling relaxed. And I'm also staring at this photo of Baba. So much love, isn't it? Hmm. So much love. Well, I'm gonna rest it out some more and head to check out the rest of uh, Baba's highlights in Mehrabad. I meditated at the Samadhi and one of his rooms next to it, which was just mind-blowing. I'm gonna go back there and meditate some more. Get some more messages in, which I'm sure are gonna bring more tears to me. Some beautiful deep realizations. And uh, tomorrow is gonna be a full day. I'm gonna check out where Dhuni happens and where Baba used to stay and all of that. Today I'm just gonna meditate. I think so. That's what I feel. See you. Love you. Love you. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm contemplating life with a plum. Mm. The juice is all over me. So yum. So yum. This is life. This is life. Juicy. Plummy. So much flavor not always sweet but juicy that's life mm. have you ever tried a plum I got these from home from Bombay to Mehrabad have you tried a plum in Mehrabad I'm loving my stay here. Mm. 
This is better. <laughs> so much peace over here. And so much green. Mm. I'm going to head off for a shower. after this. Here I am, all set. This is the beautiful pilgrim house I was telling you about. And the best part is that it's all made in stone. No cement work from the outside. Just the way I like it. I'm loving this place. I'm just loving this place. Oh my god. <laughs> Natural, sustainable construction work done here and the rooms are just what you need for a silent, peaceful stay at this gorgeous, gorgeous place. Now I'm on my way to the Samadhi and this is the straight road towards the Samadhi to and fro. I love walking. I just love walking. And I'm gonna walk it down. It's about a 10 minute walk from here. It's drizzling a little bit right now otherwise it was just fine. And it's a kacha road. It's not a tar road. It's a mud you can see. And, uh, Hello Jai Baba! There he is, the security guard. And I'm struggling with my umbrella, opening it as I am showing you the views. Oh my God, look at this. So amazing, look at that. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's so many nice birds here. Did you did you see? Oh. Hello. Oh, there's a small one that just flew in on the tree. Oh, do you see it? I'm sure you don't. Do you see it? It's like a really tiny one. Where is it? Anyway, I want to meditate in the room next to the Samadhi, which is so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm here for three nights, which means I have one more whole day tomorrow. And I'm feeling like I should have come here for longer. Nevertheless, there's always the next time. This time was an introduction to Babaji. So much love. I loved his vibe. I loved his vibe. Though I feel like I still have to have a full introduction with him. A full heart to heart, soul to soul conversation with him. Hmm. I've had a good deep conversation with myself. Which is as good as having a conversation with him. I did ask him a few questions while I was meditating today. While I was practicing my yoga sin pranayam. Hmm. He was gentle. In his answers. Ah, oh, what a beautiful walk. And so many birds. All right, I'm going to enjoy nature in monsoon in Mehrabad.
and I'll see you at the Samadhi. And here I am, laden with a lot of chikhal, a lot of mud below my sandals. Thank God I did not wear my kids. And here we are. That's the Samadhi. Some of the cars heading towards the Samadhi. Some, I don't know, guys with no shirts on. I don't know what they are doing. Let us go towards the Samadhi. Hmm. What a beautiful walk that was. Contemplating life and observing nature. And worrying about my sandals. And I do not I did not intend to capture these topless guys in my video. But not everything goes as planned in life, does it? Oh, there's a slippery road here. Gotta be careful. Hmm. I see some rickshaws. I'm going to ask this guy if he will take me to the pilgrim house. Namaste. Mala he atwasta ithun pilgrim house madhe nyal ka? Pilgrim house madhe MPR ka? MPR. Bus ite na madam. नहीं बस साढ़े सात लगाते ना माला आठ परंतु थम गए चाहिए थे। जाचिंग का सुधर सकते। तुम इधर? हाँ अन्य कितनी पैसे के तात? हंड्रेड रुपीस। हंड्रेड रुपीस? चले मग तुम ची गाड़ी जीरो टू नाइन जीरो। हाँ तुम ही थमा ला निगुन नहीं जाना ना?
made a detour on my way back to buy some fruits for tomorrow's breakfast. And I got some at this point. This beautiful rickshawala was kind enough to take me to a uh, fruit stall, fruit shop, and have me shop for these bananas and papaya, which are going to serve me and heal me and nourish me tomorrow morning. I have my priorities right, don't I? <laughs> Look at these beautiful homes. I love these kind of constructions. Raw, rustic, so beautiful to look at. Jai Baba! Flowers! <laughs>